Hi everyone, my name is uh, Alex. I'm co-founder of Lost Ground of Brewers down here in Bristol. Um, just want to say thanks a lot to Beer52 for having us along and thanks a, uh, thanks a lot for inviting us to your Cyberfest this evening. So I hope everyone's having a great time and enjoying all the beers in the box. Um, yeah, so um, I'm from Lost and Grounded and we're a brewery down in Bristol for those of you that don't know us. Um, we've been brewing since July 2016 and um, we mainly make this little beer here, Keller Pills, which is actually this little beer here. So I'm a little bit thirsty. <laughs> I'm just going to have a sip now. Um, people often ask us, um, what's the name Lost and Grounded about? So the last bit of the name is a little bit, um, I guess, based on the personal journey of my, my partner and co-founder, Andy Clements and I. Um, Andy's from Tasmania, so this little island off the coast of Australia. Um, together we've lived in um, Tasmania, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, um, Brussels, back in, Mel back in Melbourne, no, Brussels, back in Perth, back in Melbourne, London, then Bristol, so that's kind of lost bit, it gives a little bit confusing there in the middle. Um, and then ground a bit of someone that's important, um, someone that's sensible and knows it's important in life, so for us it was to finally stop and actually build our own business and um, and try and build a business where everyone involved kind of could, could forge a future in it, so... Um, yes, yeah, so that's, that's the kind of basics. Um, we, when we set up the brewery, actually, we mainly set up to make that little beer there called Keller Pills. Um, and the inspiration for that beer is really like a, um, a trip to the Hop, Hop Harpers in Tetanang um, quite a few years ago now. And um, I was traveling there as a brewer, just looking at the, looking at the hops um, during the harvest. And um, I was there having a, um, and staying in a brewery guest house and I was having dinner and it's harvest time, it's Umba Band's playing all this sort of thing and they came up with a menu and said, what would you like? And I don't speak German, but I could see Keller Pills. And I thought, oh, I'll have a Keller Pills. And um, so what came out to me was just like this beer that's um, not so different to this one right here. So um, it was pale, golden, a little bit hazy. Um, when I drank it, it was kind of lemony fresh and um, had, had this kind of epiphany moment then to think like, actually not everything needs to be complicated in life. Why can't we just actually um, make a brewery, make a really, really simple beer, but just have it all full of depth of character and nuance and all the rest of it. Um, look too tempting, I had to have a sip there. <laughs> so the um, artwork was really inspired by um, that's like Constance in Germany, or the artist from Dishman Lake Constance in Germany. With hot fields, hot fields of tetanang in the background, and um, and people often ask as well, what's the deal with the with the flying hippo and carrying the world? And for us, the hippo is not the rock star of the animal kingdom; it's like the quiet achiever. So we kind of think, just keep your head down, keep doing your job, and if you work hard enough, you can carry the world, you know. And um, also, why is the hippo rowing the boat across the lake? And um, that's really about um, being prepared to back yourself and go it alone, which is a little bit what we do with this beer here. Um, so this beer is only Pilsner malt. We use two different types of Pilsner malt at the moment. So we have some from Belgium, some from Germany. Um, we, we also use just three old fashioned hop varieties, which is um, Magnum, Perlet and Middle Fruit. Um, and what they, um, I guess the process, between the process and the ingredients and all the rest of it, we end up with a beer that's yeah, just a little bit hazy. It's kind of lemony fresh. It's got this real kind of like, um, um, sort of subtle malt character, which um, is fantastic. We use really, really good Pilsner malt and um, and just really, really balanced. But people often sort of comment like, oh, I don't drink lager or or um, it's just lager or something like that. But in our minds, um, what, how I would like to explain this is there's like, there's lager and there's kind of lager, just like there's bread and there's bread and like there's white bread you get from that, from a, it um, comes from a factory, but you get it from the supermarket, wherever, you can make a sandwich, you can make toast, you can eat it, it's fine, um, it does the job. And there's white bread you get from, you know, your local sourdough bakery with like, has like texture and has bounce to it, has crunch, it has, a, you know, nuance, a depth of character, all these sort of things. And for us, lager is the same, it's like, um, there's of course lager and it gets turned through out of factories just like the white bread does and it does its job um, but there's lager that actually takes time takes effort takes love takes attention to detail takes all the rest of it and that's what we feel like Keller Pills is um, so Keller Pills typically um, at least four weeks in tank um, 
at the moment it's considerably longer um, right now the stuff that um, everyone's drinking right now is probably been lagered for about um, eight to ten weeks actually um, and yeah the, and this the result is just um, you just can't compare the two really so I mean um, we're really 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 um, excited to be sharing our beer with you tonight and uh, we just hope that you guys all enjoy it and um, if you're ever in Bristol I mean obviously no, no events this year really um, on the calendar, but typically we have some fantastic events um, at the brewery. We have all sorts of things like um, uh, you know our summer sessions, our winter beer blowout, etc. So if anyone's ever down in Bristol, and just look us up and see if um, we have anything on, come come by and visit us. So all right, cheers! Have a great night.